North of the Helmand River in Afghanistan, there is a huge field of ruins about 7 kilometers long and 2 kilometers wide. This once has been the palace district called Lashkai Bazar, which was built under the Ghaznavid rulers Sultan Mahmud and his son Sultan Masud I as the main winter residence, while the city of Ghazna in present day in central eastern Afghanistan served as the summer residence of the Ghaznavids. The Lashkari Bazar complex comprises three large palaces, the North, Central and South Palace. On the eastern side of three palaces were courtyards, gardens and outbuildings. The palace complex was called by Arab authors al Askar while the name Lashkarga was used by Persian-speaking authors, which literally means place of the soldiers. The Southern Palace, also called the Sultan's Palace, which is stood on a cliff above a bend in the river, is considered the most important one of the three palaces. This building consists of a rectangular central courtyard with four iwans. The northern Iwan in the courtyard was higher and wider than the other Iwans. Through the northern Iwan, one could reach the rectangular audience hall, which was once surrounded by columns, walled paintings, and molded stuccos. In the middle of the hall, there was water basin in the shape of a rose blossom with the water pipe running in east-west direction which indicates that the audience hall was equipped with running water. Archaeologists found fragments of collapsed arches, epigraphic panels and columns, as well as painted and relief-like ornaments in this room. Altogether, the found objects give a vivid impression of the richness and elegant beauty of the architecture and the decoration. In the Islamic Middle Age, the audience halls were lavishly equipped and decorated. The audience hall of Lashkri Bazar gives eloquent testimony to the splendor and luxury of Ghaznavid court life which has been described by Ghaznavid historians. In 1038, the historian Abu Fazl Muhammad Bayhaqi describes the Ghaznavid audience hall enthusiastically as follows. The golden throne, the splendid carpet, and the hall for audiences which the Amir had ordered to be constructed in on which they had been busy for over three years was now ready. They informed the Amir and he ordered that they should install and set it the throne down on the great podium of the new palace and put the building in order. Everyone who on that day saw that adornment never saw anything after that which could compare with it. I was one of them at that time and I have never known anything like it. The throne was constructed entirely of red gold, overlaid with shapes and patterns of branches and plant fronts. The throne itself was overlaid with covers of roomy brocade. This detailed description of a court ceremony from an unidentified audience hall of Sultan Masud I clearly shows how richly the hall was furnished and how lavishly there has been celebrated. It seems obvious that the palace audience hall also served as a reception hall and as a site for celebrations. The Lashkari Bazaar was badly damaged after the fall of the Ghaznavids during the conquests by the Gurids and the invasion of the Mongolian army in the early 13th century. The remains of the palace complex were 
largely excavated between 1949 and 1951 by the French Delegation Archaeologique Française en Afghanistan under the leadership of the archaeologist Daniel Schrumberger.